everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap, and today we're going to repurpose this last soap we made, except for this one. Um, the kids like this one, so we're going to leave this one alone. Um, so we're going to put that off to the side. So what we can do is we can either take our vegetable peeler, and we can, um, without a guard, make sure you use one without a guard, or you can use a cheese grater. These are very inexpensive. They're found on Amazon. There's enough scent in these that we really don't need to re-scent them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a quick way, and I'm actually going to use a salad shooter. Over here I have uh, 10 ounces of shea butter melt and pour ready to be melted down when we're ready. And I'm going to go ahead and put this over here for now. I guess we'll put our mold here just so we have it. We'll put these here. That way there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the smaller um, shooter size in there. I'm not going to put my finger in there and pull it out because I already have it plugged in. And we'll take out the guard. I've cut the soap in half and then I'm just going to turn it on and we'll go ahead and do this soap. Okay, so this, we've gone ahead and we shredded um, three, or two and a half, two and a half, and I have a half of one left, and I have the other one left. So these are our shreds here. I don't know, let me see if I can zoom in. Probably not. You can kind of see how much we have. The colors are very pretty, and I'm really happy with this. So what I've done is, um, originally I was going to do 10 ounces of shea butter melt and pour, but it didn't look like it would be enough. So I upped it to 13 ounces, and it's just really too hot to pour right now. It is at uh, 170, 173. So we're going to just let it get down into the uh, low 130s, high 120s before we put all this together. So in the meantime, you can achieve this, like I said before, without using the salad shooter. You can use a vegetable peeler with no guard, or you can use these little inexpensive uh, p potato peelers or cheese graters without a guard also. I would not buy a brand new salad shooter for this unless you really like the look and, and you want to do a lot of soaps like this. I would just get one that's refurbished either on eBay or Amazon. They both have them on refurbished. The one I have, the box is really beat up, but I got it on Amazon for really inexpensively, um, and it works just fine. After you do two or three, well actually maybe three, of, maybe four of these, you're going to need to take out the salad shooter, the inside, and clean it out because it's going to get a little gunked up. I would look at it as if you threw cheese in there, it would get really gunked up. So you just wipe it out uh, with a warm, uh, paper, warm, moist paper towel, make sure it's dry, and then put it all together and finish your job. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to see if we can get this to set. I'm not going to add any new fragrance. 
So we're at 168.3. So we will wait till this gets uh, a little bit lower and then we'll go ahead and pour. Okay, so we are stirring. It's feeling thicker. So if you don't have a thermo thermometer like this, um, if you notice it's getting a little bit thicker and thicker, that's usually your sign. Uh, it says it's at 134 and I feel pretty good about that. So we'll go ahead and start prepping. I always pour a little bit in here first on the bottom just because that, that gets away from those little gappy holes that you see at the bottom. Although I don't mind those holes. I, I think they're kind of nice looking. It makes the soap to me look a little bit more rustic. So we'll go ahead and we'll pour a little bit down onto the mold. I have my little hole side up. And then we're going to start squirting everything with our alcohol. Um, and like I said before, what I've done is I've gone ahead and bought the huge, I think 32 ounces of alcohol, and I just go ahead and refill these little things as needed. So we'll go ahead and fill up the mold and see how it goes. Okay, so we ran out of soap, so I went ahead and I added, I'm not surprised because it always happens to me. We're going to go for 15 ounces next time. So what I did is you can see I didn't melt it all down. You can still see there's some clumps in there and that's because I really just didn't want to overheat it and I don't want to wait too long before um, pouring. So we're at 131. So I'm, I'm, I just don't want there to be a difference in the colors. I don't want some of them to melt. So I'm going to go ahead, continue swirling, I'll add a little bit more, there, I think that'll be good, just like that. We have a lot left over, so we have another soap to do. There's a few things we can do, and we're just going to keep doing it until we use it all up. I do like the colors. I am in love with the colors now. Okay, and I, I think that's pretty much going to be it. I guess you could add a couple more here. You just want to make sure that the soap stays down, especially when you cut. So we're going to have a little bit left, and you can see the clumps in there. Uh, we're going to squirt it with some alcohol, and of course we're going to add some bio glitter. And let's see if I can get it open without ripping my gloves. Okay. We'll wait for the cut. Okay, while we're waiting for the cut, we're going to go ahead and I want to show you something that was submitted by a subscriber. This is Monica from Suds and Bees. She does have a YouTube channel and this is her soap that she did, A Dolphin Adventure. So these are actually some uh, column molds that I actually also just purchased um, and I think this is a really good idea. I think it's very summery. And I really do love the way how she got the uh, ocean spray. I, I think if anything jumps out at me, 
the most is the ocean spray that is just beautiful. So thank you, Monica, for being such a great fan. And thank you to all of you who submit soaps to me and show me some of the wonderful techniques that you've been learning. Okay, we're back. And here's our soap unmolded. It's very, very, very pretty. And we will go ahead and do the cut. And this is what the soap looked like before. And this is the soap that we are keeping. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the cut. So that does it for today's episode. Stay tuned and we'll be coming back with another soap because we do have to finish those other embeds. So I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Have a good week.